Hey guys, Laura here, coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee, and again here with Jaegertown. We're just, just we're here with two of the guys. The, everybody else is working. Uh, we are here because you all are recording a new album and some new music. Yes. So how's it going so far? It's going amazing. Um, you know, we came a long way, and there's a reason that there's so much stuff that's done in this town, and it's beyond the history of it all, it's because you get to work with the kind of people and the caliber of stuff that we're working with, and I think the product is just keeps coming out better and better, and we're excited about it. Yeah, so, I, and excited. not to not to name drop, um, sure. it, but I think giving credit where credit is due, mm -hmm. we're working with... Working with Matt McClure downstairs, um, uh, amazing producer, um, and then uh, uh, Jeff King's here too, helping out. And, and Jeff's wonderful. Jeff's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, so we this is our second go around uh, with these with this these guys and uh, the relationships have just built. There's a lot of laughs. Um, it's as many jokes. Uh, you know, there's a joke in between every discussion about what's coming next for the song, and it keeps it fun and lighthearted. And everybody takes their turn of uh, getting teased or razzed, or you know, you got to be on your toes musically and otherwise, otherwise you're gonna gonna get your share so yeah it's awesome yeah and I was I was talking to the guys a few minutes before we we got started here um so I have to brag on them a little bit because they've become close friends of mine whether I'm their close friend or not yes you are I'm gonna friend. just say it for all of us hey you're our oh, friend that's right it's a Jaegertown sandwich right. um I I love these guys um and if you have never seen them in a live performance and I admit I'm one who had not until we came to their town in Utah for Country Fan Fest last uh, this past. Mm -hmm. Or we, we're still in 2018. Yeah, in August, these guys put on a show that you would not believe. It is perfected uh, with everything from lighting to vocals to sound to. I, I honestly had never seen a band. I was, I, and then I said, okay, we'll see what happens at Sturgis because it's not their hometown. Sturgis, they did the same thing. It, you all are amazing, and I'm thinking, why? This is not just an independent band. This is, but you all been at this for how long? We've we've been doing this for 12 years, and and you know we were talking off camera about some of the challenges of playing live, but and, and Utah is not fair because that's that's our home crowd, and but we definitely appreciate you know the the homage there. It, we were talking about how hard it is sometimes to step on a stage and play. And you brought up Sturgis, and, and Sturgis was a downpour. Sturgis, Sturgis. Yeah. There was a, a, a sheltered area over here off the side of the stage and a huge field, an amazing stage that had a waterfall on it. <laughs> natural <laughs> waterfall. A, a natural, natural waterfall. <laughs> and, and we kind of talked about the frustrations of the stage is wet, there's water falling, the people aren't watching, and, and you brought up the point that we played the same show that we did in front of 6,000 people at FanFest. It's not an easy thing to do, but, and the thing is, is maybe to you or to, to anybody, it looks like we really rehearse the show, but the fact is we don't. <laughs> we just walk out there and A, the five of us have been together for 12 years. Right. So we click, we know each other, we love each other, we know how to interact on stage. We literally don't rehearse our show. We'd put up some cool lights and we'd go out there and do what we love and sometimes we'd bump into each other. And, you know what I mean? There's, there's no choreography, but when you're doing something that you absolutely love in front of people that are singing along with you and you, you can feel that why they're there is to see you play, right. you, you just, you can't you can't miss yeah so and, it, it comes natural yeah and and you are, you guys seem to not i think uh oh i think i'm knocking stuff off yeah. of a tree back here so <laughs> uh, we'll get that later all right well fair. i may have to buy new bulbs i don't know but um you all just seem to not forget a face either so you make everybody feel like because i i thought okay we're we've interviewed a couple of times we're gonna come out to utah but as soon as you, each one of you saw us, you were like, hey, how are you? Glad, glad you came out here and took the time to sit and talk with us. And yeah. that's important, whether it's media or whether it's a friend or just a, just a fan who's seen you. 100%. Yeah, we have a, a page that, uh, I'm sorry, I've been interrupted. No, no, we no. A, a Facebook page, and it's called, you know, Jaeger Nation. But that's kind of what it's about. It's like... I think we all realize, especially after doing it, like Jesse said, as long as we've been doing it for 12 years, 
that it doesn't matter whether it's it's folks like like y'all you know who are helping cross promote and and getting behind artists or music that you that you believe in or you know number one two uh, the fans and, and and this day and age with the size and the scope of the talent that is out there and the accessibility that you can listen to anything anywhere anytime on yeah. your phone pull up any video you want if, for people to come to a show or people to spend their hard-earned money on a, a cd or a shirt you know people are still buying cds and sometimes they buy them just because they they want to meet you and they want to they want to have something physical but Whatever they're doing, if they're downloading, if they're following you on a page, if they're they're liking something you post, I mean, that's that's their time, that's their money, and there's other options out there. Right. So if we, early on, and I remember having this discussion. The mantra of this band has always been the same, and I remember having this discussion. To be completely honest with you, when I probably couldn't have remembered Preston's last name that long ago in the band, but it's it's always been my mantra and I think it's the best one is what you do off the stage is as if not more important than what you do while you're up there and and that's that goes for media that goes for fans that goes for promoters uh, industry yeah. buyers industry sellers like everybody and it's tough man remembering faces is uh, I Preston will tell you the same thing I, I can't tell you how many dozen times people will come up to me hey it's so good to see you and I, oh it's great to see you again and I know their face right can't remember my name, and you're just praying that they're going to pull up some memory. Like, that was so great <laughs> that time that, you know, you jumped off the stage and that guy handed you a giant cowboy hat, and then you start to put it all together. But and We're lucky because there's five of us, so one of us is bound to remember <laughs> The truth is, something we'll, we'll divulge that. this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to oh, let boy. this go. Uh -huh. <coughs> there's a secret signal in the band, okay? Now, and, and this doesn't negate the importance of remembering everybody, but the fact is when you see... Oh, hundreds yeah. of thousands of people over yeah. 12 months, and then you see them same people 12 months later. So if you ever see me talking to somebody and Preston's over there and I go like this, <laughs> then Preston will then walk over and say, hey, Preston, I remember you. And they'll say their name so that, you know, it's a signal so we can say, Preston, come get me this guy's name. I don't remember. What it <laughs> but it, it's not, it, it, not well, to we be disrespectful, you. but it's it's hard to remember everybody. We well, try, yeah. and it's important to us. It really yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, and and I and I honestly don't think that I think that I think that's better than not remembering at all to have somebody else come over and kind of save you a little bit. But on the same token, yeah, how can you remember? I'm good if I can remember which kid is named what. <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> or the dog. Sometimes I call the kids the dog's right. name. So yeah. I, I wish I had a signal. What's the, what's this one's name? <laughs> I think the connection and the gratitude too. I mean, there's definitely times where you don't. You know, you can't remember everyone's name. You may remember where you met somebody, but just just being thankful that they showed up and spent their hard-earned money when they had lots of other options, things like right. something else they could have done with their evening and their money, and they decided to come to a show. And then, you know, if they want to meet you, all the better, and making some personal connection. But just, you know, being grateful for people to take the effort and the time to. And, and that, you know, that goes back to, uh, uh, bands used to do that mm -hmm. all the time. They'd either wait after a show, you didn't have to pay extra for a VIP meet right, and greet right. that was two seconds, smile, take a picture and right. be done. Um, it was, and if you went to enough shows, you know, Randy Owen out of Alabama would remember that right. he doesn't know your name, but you were at a, the last couple of shows. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it, it does give the fans that connection Absolutely. as a fan. I like those connections too. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, we'll wrap up because they've got to get back down to this amazing studio so we can hear some more music that you all will get to hear really yeah, soon. Excited. When are, when should we be looking for the new music? Well, I, th I think uh, it's always fun. I mean, this is about the same time last year that we recorded Rear View and, and the single that's out now, Blame It On The Wine. Um, you know, anybody that wants to hear this stuff, it's just JaegertownEverything.com, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you download, all that stuff. So you can hear what we did last year with Matt and the guys and the single that's playing right now. It's a good wintertime single. And the new stuff that we're doing right now, uh, we'll, prob we'll probably get it like we did last year. It was like a Christmas present. So depending on when, um, you know, as the, the current single runs its course would be when we release the next one. And we're, we're cutting four songs right now, four more songs. So we're not sure, um, you know, we, we, you think you may know which one is going to be released yeah. yet next, <laughs> but you're not 100% uh, sure. So, so we'll see. Uh, I, everything that we've done, you know, the last few days has been awesome. And today, 
is I think I, we're super excited about what we were just doing while y'all walked in. So yeah, we'll see I which too. one is going to be. And <laughs> all that being said, too, I mean, we're talking about releasing songs versus right. when, can when you we do right, 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 right. Get on Facebook, like the Jaeger Town page. From there, you can find Jaeger Nation, which is basically I don't know how do you. It's a, uh, it's kind of like an exclusive connect. So all yeah. you have to do is join Jaeger Nation, which. Uh, it makes it so that anything that we post, you can directly see it doesn't get lost in the Facebook world. That being said, long before these songs are released to radio, if you're on that Jaeger Nation page, you're going to have this song very shortly after we do. So maybe yeah. maybe New Year's, maybe, you know, it depends on how long it takes them to get everything. Put yeah, and you can right. do that you through. You'll be able to hear them long before, before everybody else. Long yeah, before if you go, go to JaegerTown.com, there's a place you, you punch, you know, you get, get us your email, you get funny, Meter does hilarious videos every week. <laughs> we're always doing updated, um, you know, when we're writing or, or wrote something new, sometimes I'll do acoustic versions of stuff, you get to hear it a little preview, and, then, and that's kind of a fun thing too for people too, it's like, you get to see the progression of what it was versus what it's actually becoming right now while yeah. we're here. And so just there's fun little things that we do there. We do the giveaways to, you know, to, the, to our sponsor. If you, you want to get on the road in July, you're not in the area. And, and you know, we, we give away tickets to, to shows. There's all kinds of different things that happen. So it's kind of exclusive and, and cool for people to follow. Us and you all time. have, I know there's going to be a lot of shows coming up mm -hmm. in the next year. The one that you all hold close to your heart is the hometown show. The Country Fan Fest. Country Fan Fest, our sponsor, yep. And our tickets are already on sale for that. They are, yeah. They did you a know, Black we're... Friday, great, an awesome deal. In fact, this year we're partnered up with the uh, Eagle um, 101.5, which is a station in Salt Lake. But they're, So we actually, there's the Eagle's Nest and then the Jaegertown Campground, too. So we have our own kind of campground where, you know, what happens in the Jaegertown Campground. Well, I, fan believe, fest I believe that. Yeah, we can't talk out. about it. VIP camping is already sold out for Fan Fest, yeah. and I think it just went on sale Black Friday. Yeah, it's, it's so. They're, it, I mean, we we joined you all down there last year, and yeah, we can't talk about it. Yes. We can just say That's it was great. a great was time, fun. and you all need to get your tickets. Vegas so has got nothing on Fan Fest. Yeah. No. Seriously, no. <laughs> it was. I mean, it, it's everything that every other festival. I mean, but just it's it's awesome. It's it's all the. Camping and, and I'll tell you what, Hal and the whole Country Fan Fest family, I mean they've got to die into a science. You know, you show up, you get your wristband, that does everything. The transportation back and forth between the camp area, the, the main stage, you know, water parks. Water parks, pool parties. They they even had a salon out there doing girls' hair and nails. Right. Last there year. was <laughs> hair and nails being yeah, done in, in, a field, yeah, in a campground. I was like, yeah. What? Yeah, they had a massage. Yeah, I got a massage. Yeah, yeah I got one too. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, that's all we can talk about. Talk about yeah. We can't talk about anything else that goes on. You all have to buy your tickets so you can yeah, experience come hang it, it out with us. us. Find the big we're going to be back down there with you all. So that's fun. Even if we're on the roof of the bus, I don't care, but we'll be back down there. So, um, and you mentioned all the social medias. That yep. and, I mean, everything, everything Jaegertown, so whether, whatever okay. you do, if you do Instagram, uh, the YouTube, YouTube channel is also a, a super fun. I mean, if you're part of Jaeger Nation, you're going to see those videos before they get released there, but... You follow us on our YouTube channel, um, JaegerTown.com. Anywhere you download music, you can find our music. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate all of it. It's not, it's and awesome. make sure you check out Blame It on the Wine. There's New also single. a really cool lithograph for that one. That one's kind of my favorite because mm -hmm. of the dog on there. But. There's a lyric video out for it right now, so you can you can watch the lyric video on YouTube. You can download a song. When we get home um, uh, before the holiday, we're, the plan is to shoot an a actual uh, storyline video. We have it cast and everything. I've already... The director's already worked everything out. We were going to shoot before, but it just didn't happen enough time. Coming out here, this was kind of the focus. Yeah. So when we get home, that'll be the next thing. There's a good video coming for that, too. Okay, so yeah. you all have to stay tuned. Check these guys out. Like all the, the YouTube, the, the all of it, Jaegertown. And go be a part of Jaeger Nation. Jaeger Nation. That's so right. we will thank you all for spending some time with us. We, we're excited to head back down and see what, you, see what things are going on down there, too. Stay tuned, guys. Bye.